Euphiphro and Socrates meet at a religious court where they are both arguing their cases. Both Socrates and Euphiphro have been accused of corrupting youth by challenging traditional beliefs and introducing new gods. Socrates claims that his situation is more serious because he shares his beliefs with others, but Euphiphro believes his plea will be successful. Euphiphro is in court to charge his father with murdering a worker, despite the fact that the worker was convicted of murdering a slave. Euphiphro's father abandoned the restrained worker while thinking of what to do, and the man died of exposure and hunger. Euphiphro's family believes it is impious for him to accuse his father of murder, and they are upset with him. According to Euphiphro, this is a misunderstanding of piety. Socrates seeks Euphiphro's advice on holiness and piety in order to better defend himself in court. When asked to define holiness, Euphiphro says it is the prosecution of a criminal regardless of relationship, citing Zeus as an example of someone who has done so by imprisoning his own father for his crimes. Euphiphro, in Socrates' opinion, hasn't defined holiness, but only provided an example of it. Socrates requests of Euphiphro to provide a universal definition, or single standard, for holiness. Euphiphro responds with, what is agreeable to the gods is holy, and what is not agreeable is unholy. Socrates rejects this because the gods frequently disagree about what is holy. Euphiphro amends his definition, what is holy is, whatever all the gods approve of, and what is unholy is, what all the gods disapprove of. Socrates wants to know what makes something holy and whether it is holy because the gods approve it or if the gods approve it because it is holy. He believes something is holy before it is approved. Socrates accuses Euphiphro of avoiding describing the essence of holiness, Euphiphro states that holiness is a type of justice and that it is the branch of justice concerned with the gods. Socrates is dissatisfied with the idea of being concerned for the gods because it implies one's acts can benefit or improve the gods which is impossible. He compares it to slaves looking after their masters. Socrates asks about the purpose of this service, and Euthyphro responds that it is to learn how to pray and sacrifice in order to please the gods and bring good fortune, while avoiding displeasing the gods and bringing ruin. Socrates concludes that sacrifice is giving to the gods and prayer is asking them for something. The ability to trade gods and men would then be called holiness, so he asks what the gods gain in this trade. According to Euthyphro, the only benefit that gods receive from us is honor, esteem, and gratification. Socrates realizes they haven't arrived at a definition of holiness and urges Euthyphro to find one. Euthyphro withdraws from the discussion, and Socrates laments that he will never learn what holiness is from Euthyphro and thus be able to defend himself against Miletus charges. If you're interested in buying the full work, a link is in the description. Also, you just might love this next video.